If you guys would like to see how I got these neon orange nails less than $10, then keep on watching. So all you need is some press-on nails that are clear, some rhinestones, some cotton pads and cotton swabs, nail polish remover, and glue. And obviously nail polish of your choice, but I use this neon orange color and I will link down below what kind of nail polish this is. So I have already taken the nail size out that I needed for my nails and I just pressed them, uh, just put them to the side because they're all different sizes. Right now I'm just clipping my nails. Um, make sure you file your nails or clip them. I suggest filing your actual nails because when you file it, it makes the nails press on better and last longer. But I didn't have a filer, so it's, it's fine if you don't, but I suggest have one. The press on nails that I have in this video, the clear press on nails, I actually got from Amazon and they're like $7. You can go to your local beauty supply store and you can find some there. But um, yeah, I just got mine from Amazon and they're really thick. They're not like the thin press on nails that are already made. So these last me for a while. So you could cut these nails down shorter, you file them down to your liking, but I like long nails so I didn't really have to do much to the nails, I kept them the same length. After applying the glue to the nail, you obviously want to put it on your nail and make sure that you are pressing down really hard so that the glue can really stick on so your nails won't pop off. So these particular nails that I purchased from Amazon actually have numbers on the tip of the nail so you can know what size is which and it makes things a whole lot easier so you won't have to keep trying them on and looking for another one. So yeah, I always suggest getting these nails but if you can't just go to your local beauty supply store and maybe you can find them there. So right now I'm just clipping the little tabs at the end of the nail they had like this little tab at the end so right now I'm just clipping that off I'm deciding which nails I want to paint orange and what nails I'm going to keep clear so I can't add rhinestones to those fingers so I'm just painting the ones that I want to paint orange and leaving my thumb and my ring finger clear so I can apply the rhinestones later In order to get some good looking nails, you first want to apply the top coat and then apply, let it dry for a little while and then apply the second coat so it won't look so chunky and it can look professional. So with this nail polish, I noticed that it was really, really thick and it took me a long time to spread the nail polish out on the entire fingernail. So all I did was add some nail polish remover to water it down and now it's applying really nicely and um, makes things a lot easier being that it's not so thick. So because I'm not really a professional nail painter, I added, um, I put a, a, a paper board down on my dresser so I would not get this neon orange nail polish on my dresser. So I would recommend getting a towel or some paper to put down because you don't want to be missing the furniture now, girl. My right hand I decided to leave the middle finger and the pinky finger clear because I will be adding the stones to the um to those fingers. So yeah, I just painted the other nails orange and left those two to be clear. So before you add your clear, make sure that your nails are almost not almost dry, but dry for like five minutes and then apply the clear. After adding the clear, I would suggest letting your nails dry for about 30 minutes 
and then you can go ahead and start adding your rhinestones now I got my rhinestones from Walmart in the crafting section for a dollar each I believe I got these a long long time ago and now I'm just not putting them to use so yeah as you can see I'm applying the rhinestones in the way that I want them to apply on my finger the way I like you can apply these any way that you prefer but yes and I also got some pearls so go to Walmart girl and get you some crafting stuff for your nails So this part, I'm just going to let you guys watch how I apply the rhinestones and the pearls. I don't feel like I should have to talk through it. But yeah, so just enjoy watching me apply the pearls and the rhinestones. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, make sure that you have some tweezers or the wax pen to apply these rhinestones. Because you obviously have nails on now, so it's going to be hard to apply them. So yeah, I forgot to put that in the beginning. So make sure you have some tweezers. Now, if you're wondering if the rhinestones will last on the nail, they actually last pretty well. They stick on pretty good because of the nail glue that I have. And the benefits of doing your own nails and having packs of rhinestones is really, really beneficial because, like, say if a rhinestone comes off, you can easily just re-glue it back on and go on about your day. Walking with a game on 
You are my kind, classic mind, and you look so fine. Mm -hmm. Loving the cold, smoking rosy, your fingers shake. And getting through your heartbreak. Some kind of free, same for me. Don't know. So for the last step, all you have to do is get a Q-tip, dip it in some nail polish remover, and just go over the rhinestones to give it some shine, and go over um, the excess nail polish just around your fingers. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Let me know if you guys actually like these nails. Let me know if you are going to try them out. And if you do, send me some pictures. I like to see them. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.